All right, everyone, Scotty here again. And I had a request to do a close up of my 410 Pirate X loads. So <clears throat> I've got my GoPro on my head today, and we are going to get hands on head first into this. So, um, first things first, what we need uh, here it is we need a quarter inch bit driver. Uh, T30 Torx bit, a uh, quarter inch punch or a quarter inch wood dowel, a three eighths wood dowel, and then for sizing, we have a um, uh, half inch by three and a half inch black pipe nipple, and then for the sizing purposes, we have that's not the right one, <clears throat> we have a 7 16 grade 8 hardened washer and I also took my Dremel tool and chamfered these edges a little bit uh, to make it a little bit more smoother so uh, first thing that we want to do is we need to trim uh, the old crimp off of the shell so what I do is take my 3 8 dowel and my knife and then kind of push it on there give it a good twist and that pops right off just like that um, next we need to uh, resize and to do that we are going to take our washer and our nipple and a hammer if you're out in camp you can use a hatchet or whatever or the log whatever you got and then just give it a couple of whacks and then to get it back out of there we're going to take our bit driver and Let's try that again. Sometimes it will take a little brass off. Uh, just make sure you don't have any big gouges or anything. This one looks like it came out fine. Um, and obviously as you're doing that, you got to make sure you get it square. Otherwise it gets cocked like that. Um, next, we're going to deprime it. This is a pistol block that I have. Uh, basically what I did was I took a 3 8 drill bit and a 5 8 drill bit and drilled that out and have a stepped hole. So that sits in there just like that. We're going to take our bit driver and our T30 bit. And out that comes. Alright, so next we need to prime the shell. I got some CCI 209 Magnums here and you can do this on any hard surface I like doing it on my gun block because that's semi hard and um, leaves a little bit of cushion behind it take our bit driver no bit in there give it a couple wax make sure it's seated flush and give it one more all right Next, we're going to do our gunpowder, or in this case, uh, Pirate XP. This is what I've been using. Um, works fine for me, a little bit more cost effective than black powder, and I clean my stuff right away anyways, so it doesn't really matter much to me. This is a 25 grain nipple. Uh, 25 grain seems to be working really well, so I'll load that up in there. Uh, next, we're going to take our 3 8 dowel. And we're going to pack that powder and once you hear it stop crunching you're good to go these are some clay buster uh, 410 wads and we're going to put that in there like that and then we're going to take our punch give a little press and drive that home and as you can see that sits flush in there perfectly uh, with 25 grains so next we are going to do our shot got my scale over here um, typically with these um, uh, these uh, two and a half inch shells you can only get about 10 ounces a shot in there of seven and a half I'm doing number six shot today Oops, got to zero it out well, that's 15 grams probably not going to be able to get that all in there Let's see what 11 gets us. Uh, 
and actually 11 is perfect um, so 11 grams of number six shot for a two and a half inch shell um, now the next step we can do a couple different ways traditionally what I've been doing is taking a 45 caliber patch and then I cut this into three different pieces And then what I do is fold the bottom up and go one third, one third and a half. And then your open edge go down towards the shot. And then take your three eighths dowel and give it a nice little push. So now we only have one step left. And that is going to be to seal with our beeswax. <clears throat> and then what this does, it's going to make sure uh, that the shot doesn't fall out. <clears throat> and it's also going to uh, seal the shell completely and make it waterproof. So, you know, it will be safe for any conditions. But that's all there is to it. <clears throat> Super simple, uh, very easy to do. Um, as you can see, that did not take uh, very long at all to do one. I actually have a whole bunch of shells that are trimmed and primed and sized and ready to go here. But um, I want to show you the other way that you can do this. <clears throat> so I got one more shell here. Let's go ahead and get it trimmed. And get it sized and sometimes these shells uh, size very easy sometimes they take a little love so it just kind of depends on how hot the load was I'm thinking as you can see that one wasn't too bad at all And we got our T30 bit on there. So did we deprime it? And take that bit off. Um, get our new primer in there. We're done with that. All right, 25 grains of Pirate XP. Three-eighths dowel. Pack it. 4-ton shot wad. Drive it home with a quarter-inch punch. All right. And we are going to do 11 grams of number six shot. That was just a hair too much. You see that you don't want it that full. I'll take a little bit out of there. That's about what you want it right there. You want about three sixteenths to a quarter inch from the top uh, for a gap. And we're just going to give that a light little pack. This time we are going to do a number 45 Wonder Wad. 45 caliber Wonder Wad. Now these are just a hair bigger than what a 410 shell is. And these, you can just pack in there like that. 
and they're not going anywhere. So if you wanted, you can still do a little bit of wax just to seal it. Um, Cause at this point it is, the shot is contained, but it's not sealed. But because um, it's a, uh, because it's a snug fit, we don't need much wax to seal it. Alrighty. So there you go. Two different ways to do 410 black powder shot shells. I uh, hope this helped you. I hope you uh, learned something today. And if you got any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And have a wonderful day.